What's up everybody? Donnie here, welcome back to another video. So good to have you. Today we're gonna be doing a catch and cook on sheep's head. Most of you guys have been asking for this video. So we're out here, I'm out here with my buddy Isaac. And we're fishing for sheep's head. Hopefully we get on some more. That's our first sheep's head of the day. We're gonna try to get a few more sheep's head and then we can start cooking them up. Stoked, man. That's a pretty solid one. Come look at this. Yeah, you did. Was that circle hook or? Uh, it's a circle hook, one inch. One out circle hook, got him. Good job, brother. Thanks. First one, man. Good deal. <laughs> We're about to be on right here. There is another decent one there. Let's go. Yes, sir. Just in time. He brought the cooler just in time. It's about to be a, an easy catch and cook session back. right here. Same size too, huh? Mine might be a little bit bigger. It's crazy because they look pretty small in the water, don't they? Yeah. But then when you pull them up, they're pretty decent. Oh, righty. This guy wasn't going anywhere. Look at that. I mean, right, right on the corner of the mouth. That circle hook. Gotta love circle hook, man. You just gotta get the right kind, guys. Get that owner. Try that owner, why not? You'll be amazed. Good deal. We're gonna be eating good. We're gonna, good we're job, gonna be eating bro. good today, man. Good catch. Came off, man. Bro, I'm gonna go, again. I'm gonna go, go ahead, go ahead. He's still there. He's still there. Jeez. He was on it. Let's see if Isaac can get him. Come on, Isaac. Uh oh. oh he, sees you. he sees you, bro. You gotta be careful. He can see you. He's spooked. He's gone. Once they see you, it's game over. You're not gonna get them. We'll get some more sheep's head that'll, uh, that'll come close to this dock here. Let him eat it, let him eat it. Isaac's about to be on right now. Isaac said he wanted to catch sheep's head this, uh, this winter, so we're out here. He got oh no, he robbed me. He robbed me. I see him. He's quick. He got robbed, okay? He's gonna go for it. Yep. He looks like a good size. Oh, he's moving, he's moving up, he's moving up. Oh, there's two, there's two. In the middle. You see him? Yeah. We on it, we on it, we on it, we on it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Sheepy. He's not that big, but uh, he's a keeper. They gotta be at least 12 inches. And this guy is, uh, he's probably right on 12 there. We're doing a catch and cook today, so we are gonna keep them. Isaac's on. Isaac's on. on. Ooh, thought I was on too. Oh, nice. Oh, that's a big one. That's a big one, Isaac. That's a big one. Don't lose them. Nice. Yes, sir. <laughs> oh, he's about the same size as the other one. Keeper, at least. Definitely 12 inches there. Too small anyways. Isaac just lost a smaller one. Literally dropping it straight down here. Oh, he's small. This guy is small. You think he's small, man? He might be. You got a, you got a measurement? I bet you he's right on 12. Zero. He's right on 12. We'll let him go. We'll let him go. He's small anyways. There it is. Perfect. Little guy. We will let him go. See ya. Oh my god, big one, big one, big one, big one. That's a nice one. That's a good one. Oh my goodness. So, biggest sheep of the of the day. Biggest sheep of the day. We can't lose him. Oh my god, what a stud. What a stud, boys. I was not expecting to catch this big of a sheep. We've been seeing little ones, man, all morning long. But this guy decided to come out and play. Let's measure it. Let's see how big he is, Isaac. How big do you think he is? I'm calling like 17. We got 18. 18, 19. 18, 19? Yeah. Like calm down a little bit. Zero, 17 and a half. 17. 
17 and a half. That's a stud right there, man. Nice yes, sir. Did you Thank get it right you. Here in the middle? No, right here, right next to this piling. Oh my god. I didn't think this big one was in there. Because I had caught a little smaller one earlier. Oh my goodness. Took it. Right here. Let's go. It's a good one. He's a keeper. Nah, he's small. He ain't no keeper. We want ones bigger than him. All right, see ya. What? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude, I didn't see where he went. He came off anyways. That one. Jeez, that was a big one, Isaac. That was a big one, man. Nice. Oh. What is this? A big old pinfish. No way. Look at the size of this pinfish, guys. That's a big pinfish, man. Look at the pelican. He wants it. Live action. Catch and cook pinfish, Isaac. Yeah, we're not going to feed him. Sorry, bud. Little guy. Little dinker. They love crab, man. Ooh. Tiny, tiny little sheep. I'm gonna release him this side. Come here. That's a good boy. Nice. Big fish, big fish. That's a big fish. What do you mean, dog? <laughs> good one, Isaac. That's a keeper. Think so? Yeah. Nice job. We don't have snook for days. I mean, sheep better for days. I want to catch snook so bad. We'll talk to you that soon. <laughs> Good job, man. We're gonna start playing them up soon here. Let's go. Ooh, came off. Man, that was on the shrimp. They are feeding on shrimp and crab today. We are going to start cleaning the sheep's head. I'm just going to show you how to clean this big one right here. What you want to do is start off cutting right here behind its head. Go down the pectoral fin. Make the initial cut just like that. Turn them around. Go from top to bottom. Just work your way down just like that. Kind of outline it. The most important thing is having a sharp knife. That way you can get, you know, decent amount of meat out of there. Bust it through the other side, like so. See that? And then just slice it like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut around the rib cage, like so. Typically, I'd get my boning knife and just bust through that rib, that rib cage, but today we're just gonna cut around it. Like that. Sheep's head is not easy to fillet compared to like you know your trout, uh, black drum, pompano. They have some serious rib cage. I usually just bust through that I don't usually don't go around all the way down to the belly I just bust through and just just get as much meat as I can out of it like that. that's uh, pretty decent right there let's fillet it right here all right let's get the skin off again point that knife in an angle like that and just pull and 
work that knife through like that. Just toss that out. There it is. Pretty good chunk of uh, fillet right there on a seven and 17 and a half inch sheep's head. Biggest sheep's head of the day right here. But um, the other ones are pretty solid too, like 12, 13 inches. We're gonna finish up cleaning these uh, sheep's head and then we'll start cooking. All right, we just got done filleting up the fish. We got a good amount of fillets. We got some over here. Really thick fillets right there. And we got some up here. These are the ones we're gonna cook up first. The grill is, uh, the grill can only fit so many uh, fillets. So we're just gonna start off with that amount first. It's gonna season it. Oh, look at, check out the seasoning right here. Chicka licka bam bam, it's a, it's a bird rub for chicken and quail, but uh, it tastes very similar to uh, Chef Perdome, Redfish Magic, Black and Redfish Magic, very similar. It just has that little spicy kick to it. So this is what we're gonna use. I bled them, that's why they look like that. Does not look bloody at all. That's key guys, you gotta, you gotta bleed your fish if you want good looking uh, fillets. Look at this one here. That's the seven, 17 and a half incher that you guys saw me catch earlier. Season that boy up. And then we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil on this, uh, on the grill here. So it doesn't stick, hopefully it doesn't stick too bad. All right, here we go. Big old fillet right there. Right there. We're gonna make sheep's head tacos. Instead of frying it, it's a uh, grilled sheep's head tacos. Should be good. We got the salsa too. Fresh salsa from uh, Publix. Let's take a look at this now. I already flipped it one time. Oh yeah, look at that. Looking good so far. Just gotta give it a couple more minutes for it to, to cook thoroughly and should be ready to serve then. All right guys, these are done. Look at that meat right there. Looks really good. Cannot wait to try it. Cannot wait to put that on that tortilla with some salsa. Look at that, man. Looking good. We caught these guys a couple of hours ago and now they're on the grill. About to make, we're about to make tacos out of them. It's awesome, cannot wait to try it. All right, we're just warming up the uh, tortillas right now. We got, we got eight tortillas. Look at that one, it's done, man. Let's get the other uh, plate. All right, we got the tortilla. Let's try, let's try a smaller piece. Smaller pieces, a little bit of cheese. And some pico de gallo. De gallo? De gallo. Pico de gallo. De gallo. A little bit of that. And uh, some hot sauce. Oh, that looks fire. <laughs> that looks good already, man. Stoked. Can't wait to try it. Hot sauce. Can't go wrong with a crystal hot sauce. Here we go. Just a little bit of it. All right, man, we're gonna try it. Actually, Isaac's gonna try it. Come on, Isaac. Try this, man. <laughs> there we go. Really all right. Let me know what you think. Ooh, hoo -hoo. look at all that sauce. Honest opinion. <laughs> Grilled sheep's head tacos. Delicious, delicious, really good. Pretty good, huh? Look at him go. <laughs> All right, we're gonna have to close this up, man. That looks really good. I'm gonna have to make me one. All right, if you guys like this video, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.